This is Dr. Richard Eby with Eby Foot Care. Today we're going to do a total temporary removal of the second toenail. This is a case where the patient had exactly the same thing on the fourth toe a little over a year ago. The nail was thick, somewhat incurvated, meaning a little bit ingrown, and somewhat painful. And as opposed to doing it permanently, we numbed the toe, removed the nail, and used a topical antifungal for about a year. The nail has come back, I would say, 90% normal. You could always say, oh, there might be a, it's so much better than what it was. Uh, something we don't do very often, because usually we either do laser treatment or medication, or we do a permanent removal. But in this case, I think it worked out really well doing a temporary and letting it grow back. Two weeks ago, we did the same thing on the big toe. Uh, a little rough looking, some callus tissue, but it has healed and I'm going to let some of this come off on its own and in a couple weeks whatever's left of this again none of this is nail we're going to just kind of remove it we call it debriding it it means kind of picking it off or trimming it away but uh, this toe pretty much is not hurting right now and you're using formula 3 antifungal topical on that one so we've got the second toe numb and we're going to do a total temporary on it one difference is that on temporary removal we do not use this thing. This is a tourniquet. When you do a permanent removal you kill the root. You cannot have the toe bleeding. And this is actually made for a big toe. But I find it better to do temporaries most of the time without a tourniquet. And again you should feel very little. If you feel anything let me know. This is just a matter of getting underneath it, loosening it up, and removing the entire nail in one piece. There's going to be a little bleeding while we do it, but you get a lot less after if you don't do a tourniquet. If you use a tourniquet, you get nothing when you do it, but then after, the blood kind of rushes back into it. So again, this is a simple little quick procedure. Toe does need to be completely numb. Again, nothing is cut here. And that's the nail bed, which looks relatively normal. I don't see any problem there. So we're going to go ahead and bandage this up. And it'll be a kind of a big bandage like on our permanent nail removals. The exception being it should only take a week or less to heal, as opposed to a permanent removal, which takes about a month. So we're going to put some cream on this, some antibiotic, big bandage, including some Telfa, which is so that it doesn't stick. A little thing like that is really important because if you put gauze directly on it, when you go to remove it, it's going to stick. So all we're going to do now is bandage it up, and we'll see how this one does in a few weeks, and we'll be able to get that dead skin taken care of on that one. This is Dr. Richard Eby for Eby Foot Care. And... Uh, We'll be seeing you soon in another video.